Hello everyone, my name is Sharon Sabarish, and today we are, we are in the second episode of the Physics in Cricket series, and today we will be talking about vibration. Now, what is vibration? Vibration is basic, are basically waves that are caused by a force on another object, and it can be seen in things such as slinkies, springs, uh, strings, rubber bands, things like that. Now, these waves, if transferred, this th are basically energy, that, and this energy can be transferred onto other objects. Now, when transferred onto other objects, the other objects are uh, feel the same force or that slightly weakened force but um this is also seen in cricket now in cricket uh cricket bats like this one here have what is known as a sweet spot where the batsman is able to get the most amount of power with the least amount of uh force that they need to exert on this bat the sweet spot is around here because the ma there's the most amount of mass in the blade of the bat at that location. Now, why is the sweet spot uh, really important to batsmen? Because they are able to score more powerfully with that uh, part of the bat, and they have the most control, meaning they're less likely to get out. So if I were to hit uh, a, a ball with this part of the bat, I would have the most amount of power and the most amount of control, and I would be able to uh, score more runs and hit it farther. However, if I hit with the bottom of the bat or any of the side, like the real edges, the ball has a chance to go straight up in the air, making it a very easy catch for the fielders um, who are standing underneath trying to get me out. Now, um, this is obviously not ideal. So it's really important for batsmen to hit that sweet spot and kind of uh, make sure that they are able to get the runs that they want. Now, one example is shown here, uh, where England bowls to uh, West Indian Nicholas Puran, and Nicholas Puran hits an amazing shot right off the middle of his bat, which allows the ball to be sent quite literally flying. Now, on the flip side, you have um, another uh, example where England is bowling to a West Indian. However, the ball is not middled and is easily caught, or maybe not so easily, but definitely caught by the Englishman. Now, all cricket bats uh, today that are used in international play are made of wood. And the only the real difference between these cricket bats is where is how heavy the bat is, uh, which we talked about in the first episode, and also where the sweet spot of the bat is. If a lot of the mass of the bat is on the is towards the bottom of the bat here, then the middle of the bat will also be much lower. But if more mass of the bat is to the top, then the middle of the bat will be there. Now this got me thinking. If bats were not made of wood, what would they be, be made of and how would the vibration be different? For example, if bats were made out of a trampoline rather than wood, the vibration would be incredibly different. Uh, and it would be interesting to see how batsmen would change the trampoline slightly to give them the best performance. Would the springs be tighter? Would the actual ma the fa uh, material of the trampoline be tighter would it be looser what kind of things would happen and how the style of play would have to be different because they're kind of playing with like a slingshot at this point uh, if they were playing with a trampoline but again that is a what if situation and would very rare i would doubt it happens in international cricket but it's may be possible for it to happen but anyways that's all we have for today and i will see you all in the next episode thank you have a good night